GemPages Shopify Page Builder tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use GemPages in Shopify. So let's get started. Now, the first step to getting started with using GemPages within Shopify is to log on to your Shopify store. So I'm just going to do that quickly and we're going to log on into our brand new store. Now this is my store and I'll show you guys what it currently looks like. Now I want to build a separate landing page for maybe a new product category that I'm launching and you can easily do such things using a platform like GemPages which allows you to build some really beautiful and interesting pages. So starting off what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head on over and then click on settings on the bottom left of my Shopify dashboard. Once you click on the bottom left settings you're going to click on apps and then you're going to click on Shopify app store on the top right. Now once you do that you're going to go on ahead and then simply proceed by searching for gem pages so we're going to search for gem pages over here in our app store and you will see the gem pages application which is called gem pages landing page builder so you can click on this and they have a free plan available as well as paid plans but we're just going to click on install i will be showing you guys you know pricing later on as well so once you open up gem pages you're going to just click on install once more to complete the installation process of this application onto shopify and once you have done this you can proceed on to your next step so we're just going to go on ahead and download gem pages and now i'm just going to pin this in my navigation now the next step is to enable gem pages in your Shopify theme. Now you might say, hey, how am I supposed to do that? So to do that, it's very simple and very easy. All you have to do is go into turn on Shopify editor and this will automatically open up a brand new tab. And within that tab, all you have to do is go on ahead and you're just going to click on over here and then on the left, this will be enabled. And then you're just going to click on save on the top right. Now, once you do that, the application will enable gem pages. And we're just going to wait for this to be saved. It can take a couple of seconds for this to be properly enabled onto our store. And once it has been enabled, we are going to be proceeding on to our next step. So moving forward, once this has been enabled, we're going to go back and we're just going to wait for this because we do want to start building. And for you to start building, you need to ensure that it has been properly enabled. Now, once this has been done, we can move forward into our next step, which is just going to be to save and then, yeah. So going back into our dashboard now, we're going to get started with creating our new page. We can click on pages on the left and you guys can see we have a couple of different default pages. However, I want to build a brand new page. So I'm going to click on create new page on the top right. And then we have a couple of different options. So we have landing page options, home page examples or templates. And then we also have templates for product pages. We also have templates for other types of pages, including things such as our collection page or article page or an instant landing page. So you have quite a few different options that can help you in getting started with these uh, unique page styles. However, today I want to be creating a landing page. I'm going to just click on landing page over here. And once I click on landing page, I want to scroll down and take a look at these templates. Now, there are some amazing templates that are available. We have over 10 pages worth of just templates that we can take a look at. And these templates are going to be a lifesaver because you have so many different niches. You have so many different example pages ready. And all you have to do is just edit the content. So it's, you know, befitting for your content and that is it you don't have to do anything else anymore it does all the hard work of designing the page for you i'm gonna go ahead and take a look at something that is going to be like this i really like this style i want to go with this particular one and i'm going to click on select template to select this template and once i have selected the template i'm going to move on towards the next step and for that once i have this ready 
I'm just going to go into the left and you guys can see we have elements and then we have sections. Now the first thing is to customize the logo that has been added here. I want to delete this and this is an image section. So if I don't have a logo, I can delete this and then go into the sections and instead of sections, I want to maybe scroll down and go into elements and then I'm going to drag and drop in a heading here and let's say my brand is called Neuer and I don't have a logo so I'm going to just add heading one and then I'm going to choose a style of font then I choose my size as well as the bold italic or underline then I choose the color like so now it's not showing up very nicely I want to go with the dark green then I can click on more and I can even choose the font weight as well as the line height and more. Then you can also transform as well as align your text to the center, to the right, to the left, whatever you prefer. You also have width, background and more. Now below that we have, you know, this basic color scheme and there's an image in this. So I can delete the image if I want and upload my own image. So this can be from your own product category. Let's say I want to be adding this image over here. And I'm going to change the color of my heading text as well. I want this to be red instead. And I'm just going to go back and then we're going to go into our section. And I'm going to see why my image has not been uploaded yet. So I'm just going to re-upload. Yeah, so now our image is uploaded. Now from here, what I want to do is I want to click on my background, scroll down, click on show more, and I can choose the container and I can choose the positioning of the image. So I'm going to position this on the right and I'm going to contain the image like so. I can also place it on the left. I'm just doing this on the right. Then I have the option to preload the image or not. And then I have the size as the banner source or as custom. And I have the banner width as well as the padding that I want to add. This just depends on personal preferences on how you want everything to appear. So I'm going to show less and I'm going to set this up as custom. Then you can choose your corner shapes if you want them to be rounded, if you want them to be circular or square. Now I'm going to click on overlay because I do want to add some overlay to my image or to my home section. You can add a overlay like so. After that, I'm going to click on this text and I'm going to change the color to red because that just fits with my overall theme. And I'm going to add discover the power of multi-stick makeup. And like this, I'm going to add a description. And now from here, I'm just going to add some copyright, whatever it might be. The best all-in-one makeup product. The best all-in-one makeup product. It's eyeshadow, blush, uh, contour, lipstick, all-in-one. Lipstick all together. Let's say I want to add that. Then I'm going to click on this button over here. And with that button, I want to go on ahead and change the color of this as well. And so on and so forth. You can, you know, change all these sections. Once done, click on publish on the top right. And once you click on publish, the page will be published. However, when the page is published via Gem Pages, it's not going to be included in the navigation menu of your Shopify store. So to actually include this in your navigation menu, all you have to do is go into your Shopify dashboard and then you're going to click on content on the left, click on menus, go into main menu and to add this to your main menu, just click on link. Scroll down, click on apps, and then you will see the Gem Pages application page that has been created under pages. And this is what it's called, and you're just going to rename it to whatever type of page it is. Now, the best part about using Gem Pages is that you can create one page completely for free, and then it's $29 for their build plan, $59 for their optimize, and $199 for enterprise plans. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.